Hello and welcome. We begin with the latest from Nigeria, where amid growing economic woes, President Bola Tinubu has left for a two-week vacation to the United Kingdom. Tinubu, who is the 16th person to hold the president's office, left for the United Kingdom on Wednesday, and he will return to Nigeria once his leave expires. In a statement, the president's advisor said that the head of state would use the two weeks as a working vacation and a retreat to reflect on his administration's economic reforms. The announcement on the president's vacation during an economic crisis triggered reactions on social media. While some questioned who approved the president's leave, others said that he might as well step down and take a longer break. It is not clear whether Tinubu, who has been in office since May of 2023, transferred his powers and responsibilities to his deputy, Kashim Shetima, as mandated by the Nigerian constitution. Tinubu is known to have taken several official and private trips outside Nigeria ever since he came to power in 2023. So much so that he, along with Kenya's President William Ruto, have also been labelled as Africa's flying presidents. The opposition in Nigeria have also called him tourist-in-chief. Now, a report by uh, the Nigeria-based International Centre for Investigative Reporting found that Bola Tinubu had undertaken at least 17 trips between May of 2023 and April of 2024. Now, Tinubu's so-called working vacation to the UK comes at a time when Nigeria is dealing with its worst economic crisis in a generation. The West African country, with a population of more than 200 million, has seen fuel prices soar and inflation hit nearly three decade highs. Now, ever since he has come to power, Tinubu has undertaken several reforms, such as easing foreign exchange controls, devaluing the local currency and cutting subsidies on fuel and electricity, which experts say would help Nigeria attract more investors and revive the economy. But it has led to more hardships for Nigerians who are already struggling with eroding household incomes, high rates of unemployment, worsening crime rates and skyrocketing food prices. At least two rounds of uh, protests have been held against Tinubu's reforms that are aimed at cutting government spending and stimulating long-term growth. Protesters who took to the streets in August and again in October have demanded Tinubu to lower food, electricity and fuel prices, as well as bring an end to their misery. Tinubu, in a speech to the nation on the 1st of October, which marked 64 years of Nigeria's independence, defended the reforms as necessary and said the reforms were already yielding results, such as attracting more than $30 billion in foreign direct investments ever since he assumed office last year. But turning around the debt-laden economy of Nigeria, which late last month saw the World Bank approving a $1.57 billion loan program to support its healthcare and education sectors, has been taking longer than anticipated. The country is struggling to raise output of oil, which is its biggest export earner. While red tapism and policy inconsistency have discouraged investors and global brands from investing in the country. Now, we will continue to track the evolving situation in Nigeria. While a vacation does give one a fresh perspective and a clearer mind, it remains to be seen whether Bola Tinubu's time off in the UK helps him to resolve the crisis back home, which so far the citizens say he has failed at. To talk more on this, we have with us Chris Kwaja, a political analyst who is joining us live from Abuja. Thank you for being with us, Chris. Thank you. Now, what are the public perceptions in Nigeria regarding president's decision to take a vacation abroad, especially at a time when ordinary Nigerians are feeling the financial pressures? And, and how might this affect his political standing? Uh, as at the last count, uh, the president has undertaken 17 trips outside this country from May 29th 
2023 uh, to date. And these trips are both official and unofficial. Uh, the president left this country uh, yesterday and uh, he is uh, undertaking an, an official and unofficial trip as well. Uh, in the statement that was released, uh, it was called a walking vacation because uh, he will be reflecting on the present economic reform with respect to issues around unemployment, insecurity, and inflation. For Nigerians, the president was elected uh, to do two things. One, to protect them, and two, to provide for their welfare in terms of social provisioning. We've witnessed protests, we've witnessed agitation across Nigeria for better lives. People are concerned about the state of affairs in terms of the slow nature of reforms. And they feel the president need to be more proactive. The president need to understand that where they are right now, they are at a crossroad. And that crossroad is defined by the mm. fact that while insecurity is on, has been on the rise, inflation has also been on the rise. So generally, uh, the state of yeah. affairs uh, in the country is not uh, too good. But the point is that regardless of where the yeah. president stays, regardless of where he is, the focus should be that they want to feel his impact. And that impact is one in which, even yeah. if he's in the United Kingdom, he needs to show them that they have a leader. They have a leader that is concerned about their welfare. Yeah. They have a leader that is also clear about what the directions of reforms will be rather than living a life that is unpredictable right, in terms of how decisions are taken. Yes, and on that, how might this vacation impact his administration's ongoing economic reforms and the other key initiatives? For, for many Nigerians, the expectation by 1st October was that they will see decisions that are geared towards addressing some of the lacunas that existed in the last one year or more. And one of it is for the president to take a more deeper and critical look at his team with a view to repositioning or rejigging that team towards achieving the best of results. That has not taken place. We are in 3rd October. It's possible that part of what the president is going to do as he travels to the UK uh, will be to reflect and come up with more concrete decisions or steps towards addressing some of those lacunas. Mm -hmm. We are waiting. It's two weeks. We are Nigerians are waiting. After two weeks or even before the elapse of the two weeks, it's possible from the UK he will be taking such decisions since his press people are here in the country and they will be right. informing Nigerians or communicating with Nigerians about the outcome of such decisions taken by the president. Mm. Right. And could this vacation be seen as a strategic move for international diplomacy or uh, personal health? And what are the possible benefits and drawbacks? Public, public, public office holders, public, public office holders have a right, constitutional right to a vacation or what you call annual leave. And what the president is doing is to exercise his right to take in vacation or annual leave like any other uh, Nigerian. And what for me, the focus will be not more about the vacation, but about the value that will come from some of the strategic diplomatic strips that he, he I mean, uh, diplomatic engagements that he'll be having in the UK. The United Kingdom is a strategic partner to Nigeria. There are many uh, private sector actors in the UK 
that have business interest in Nigeria. Uh, his visit to the UK should afford him an opportunity of also relating or interfacing with such actors with a view to, again, re, re, reclaiming some of the lost grounds, grounds that we, 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 we've experienced when it comes to investors' confidence in Nigeria. And for me, at the heart of this investors' confidence is that the president should be able to take a second look at where we are in terms of our foreign policy priorities with a view to revamping uh, the, this foreign policy uh, policy priorities. One of it is the fact that as it stands, we do not have ambassadors across the world. And that is a major diplomatic misstep, mm -hmm. uh, misstep on the part of the Nigerian government. It's important for the president to send ambassadors out there because part of what these ambassadors will be doing is to project the image of Nigeria, is to also identify and make new friends, as well as strengthen relations with other old friends with a view to reclaiming some of those lost grounds that we, 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 we've had uh, in, in the last uh, couple of years. Mm. Right. Chris, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for being with us on First Post Africa and uh, for bringing us all Thank the latest you. details on uh, Bolotinubu's UK visit. Thank you. First Post decodes the US election, explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.